Hey everybody, this is a BB-09 Echo Blaster that I've got up for review today. This is the second bird mold from 52 Toys, both having been released in 2019. Let's start with the package and its contents. It comes in a beautiful box with nice artwork all around. The designer's logo is all in Chinese, which I can't read, but my phone does have a handy translator. Apparently it's a group called the Thunderbird Workshop, and they've done some other bird designs. This particular mold is a little unusual in that it does not actually come with a box charger and only a perch, but you will find usual contents like the instruction booklet, catalog, and a character card. Let's take a quick look at the character card and see what we say about Echo Blaster. She is the sharp sword piercing the clouds and the electronic sound, tearing the silence into pieces. Yeah, I guess this is one bird you don't want to mess with. As far as the color scheme, this is a macaw, or more specifically, it's a scarlet macaw, which is a beautiful bird with red feathers and colorful yellow and blue plumage. For a character study of a real-life animal, it's a great one to take inspiration from. And as far as emulating the anatomy of a bird of flight, 5-2 Toys absolutely nailed it. The marquee feature of this character is its wings, and they're amazing. Look at that. You've got these sort of scissor-type hinges so the wings can stretch out with ball joints so they can be positioned up or down. There's a ton of posability to really make this figure look like it's soaring. Of course, like I initially showed it, you can fold the wings on the sides and have this bird for its resting pose. The head has quite a bit of movement. You can rotate it left and right and up so that you can get it into those flying positions, and the beak also opens. Let's talk about the perch for a little bit. Like I said, there are several versions of this mold, and 5-2 Toys has pretty much been all over the place on what they've included with them. They all include a perch, but only Space Anthem and Blossom include a box charger. It's a great feature, but what I've found out the hard way is the pegs are too small and fragile, and they broke off on mine. To be clear, I think I was pretty careful with how I handled this, given my experience and in my estimation, no matter how delicately you handle this figure, they're going to break off eventually. Ultimately, it's just a weak design. As I understand, the most recent release, Blossom, has been revised with a larger peg hole, so it stands to reason that a lot of people have had the same issue that I did. That being the case, I feel like at a bare minimum, 5-2 Toys should have offered replacement purchase. As far as I know, there's no way to get that directly from them. Moving on, we'll go ahead and transform this little guy into box mode. We'll start by getting the wings up and out of the way. This chest piece connects in the center. You just release that in full, the head back down and around, and this top piece right here will stay flat. That's going to hide its head. This piece is sort of a double articulated hinge. That needs to come down and give you clearance to rotate at 180 degrees. Now this chest piece folds back up. Then this tail feather assembly will lay flat against the bottom. So you know, these pieces will fall together so they lay flat and then the chest reconnects with the top piece and it snaps into place really nicely. We'll get these wings out of the way here so that I can get the legs into position. With the legs, you'll get the interior ball joint facing up like that. We can collapse the wings at this point. Go ahead and get that tail feather back down and the side feathers snap into place on top of the main feather. The wings will come around on the main hinge at a 45 degree angle. Then the front half of the wings will fold inward and they can come at about a 90 degree angle from this middle joint. The feet are basically going to fold up like that at a 45 degree angle from the front of the body and they'll be positioned flush with the side of the wing. The front of the wings have small slots which tab into the side of the chest. This is another one of several parts that connects with a very satisfying snap. And there you go, now it's a beautiful box mode. They engineered this mold with some very nice geometry. I love the way the wings and legs fold up to form the sides. There are a number of beast boxes whose box mode serve as an avatar of the creature, and this is definitely one of the better ones. I mean, you look at this and it's immediately obvious, yep, it's a bird. <laughs> now it's time to give my little bird buddy a box grade. Quick refresh, this is a rating system of six categories with five points possible in each for a total of anywhere from zero to 30 points. As a study on bird anatomy, it's absolutely perfect, and being one of the earliest beast box figures, in my guesstimation, it really took this line to the next level and set the standard for future releases. This gets 5 out of 5. This is an excellent, highly posable character, but with consideration to the fact that some later repaints included a box charger for basically the same price, and spare box chargers cost around $10 a pop, early adopters might feel a bit shortchanged. 2 out of 5. Echo Blaster has a very satisfying box transformation, neither too complicated or simplistic, 
and forms a very solid box mold with parts that connect with a satisfying snap. It works perfectly as an avatar of the animal form. 5 out of 5. Hard to imagine 5 2 toys could have done a better job with its wings, posability, and overall proportions. 5 out of 5. Overall build quality is really decent on this one. Joints feel solid and the wings are nicely built. I have to address the perch. 5 2 toys obviously know those connection pegs are a design flaw and to date has never offered any sort of remedy. On a positive note, while there's a good possibility yours will break, the bird itself isn't going to fall apart, so you won't have to tape it together and sell it to a blind kid. You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. This gets one out of five. Having said that, this is one beast box that doesn't need any gimmicks to be a ton of fun to fiddle around with. It is a genuine pleasure to transform and pose. This gets five out of five. That brings the box grade total to 23 out of 30. In spite of a glaring design flaw, it's still an outstanding figure. In my opinion, Echo Blaster or any of the variety of repaints are a must-have for any Beast Box collection. As always, I very much appreciate your time, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like or a comment, or better yet, please subscribe. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.